probably it's heading out to go pick up my daughter. And uh, already, um, when I was getting dressed, the you know, credit department using the sirens to engage in intimidation. All right. So yeah, they were very, very active today, <laughs> you know. And like I said, um, the more they attack me is the more I'm going to record, right? So it's the reason why they're attacking me so much lately because, again, they cannot um, manipulate me into stopping recording their psychological program, right? The PSYOPs, right? And they're upset. They're mad because I'm exposing their tactic. You know, one of the things that when people are engaging in criminal activity uh, towards you, doesn't matter if they're being led by those in the authoritative position, you have a right to record and expose what's being done. Okay? And uh, they cannot tell you that you cannot, that you don't have a right to expose it. And to defend yourself. This is a way of, this is one of the ways in which you can defend yourself against these sort of attacks. Because imagine if you wasn't recorded, right? And this is what they do. They'll wait. There, there are times when I won't record, you know, for example, or there are times when I may forget to upload my videos. And they'll send me all sorts of subliminal messages about, um, you know, uh, getting, pe getting particularly women to lie. You know, uh, get, get uh, to try to threaten you with some sort of false accusation. I mean, what kind of false accusation? You know, as a black man and as black men, we know how they manipulate our women and they use our women to engage in all sorts of uh, accusation, right? P particularly because of how they're being conditioned, where all they see from men are money, right? And yet we'll get upset of a man uh, nature to want sex. And now they now they're putting out songs talking about selling coochie. <laughs> so you, you, you do you see how contradictory they their mind are? Like I tell them, new vehicle, you E B thirty two or nine with ginger plates. All right, I tell you, they always gotta, they always gotta find some other place to, to bring in and uh, with that number thirty-two in it. Now you hear the sirens, as I mentioned that, as I was reading the license plate. So yeah, um, right? They were always going to, they're always going to find sambos and sambinas, right? These are people that look like me to do these sort of things and to engage in this sort of behavior, right? And here's the thing, and because again, how people in society are conditioned, they have to villainize you as a TI, right? Because you're a victim to their crimes. So they gotta villainize you in order to discredit you, okay? So that no one would believe you. That's how they operate. And we should know this by now, you know? So what you guys are gonna see now is like, you see a lot of these guys with their dreads now, you'll start to see them around because you know, I was going back by Pam, they had the guy in the dress in front of the building. All right? So, as I'm crossing the street, you see two guys with dreads. And now you see this one across here as I'm going to the boys and girls. All right? So you see, and then you're looking over here at the license plate that says, She cute. <laughs> oh, these people are just ridiculous, I swear. But you know, look, another, another number 32, M-A-I-1932. All right, BMW, right? Um, but yeah, you know, I've seen that license plate on uh, another car, and I know it must be the same owner, or it must be some type of uh, special plate they have because I've seen it on SUVs, I've seen it on other vehicles that is not that. So, which is very rare, you know? There are multiple cars I've seen with that license plate. And it's an official license plate too. So it's interesting that, what are they doing? Switching the, the plates 
right? <laughs> Whenever they want to engage in some sort of uh, subliminal messaging, you know. But again, this is what they'll do. Uh, well, yeah. Anyhow. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So. This is what they've been doing. So, like I said, I have a right to defend myself. I have a right to record, and particularly if you are in, the, in public, okay? And particularly if you're, if you're uh, engaging in uh, psychological warfare, psychological operation. See, look, what did I say? What, what, what did I say? What did I say? See, they, when I talk about how they wait till they see me, then they come out of the vehicle and open up the trunk of the car, that's what he just did. <laughs> See, I recorded the guy earlier. He didn't want to do that because, again, you know, he didn't want to. Because they know. Listen, they know I know exactly what they're going to do. So if I'm saying it, what they'll do, they'll deviate just in case. And I want you to understand how manipulative they are, right? And how they engage in such behaviors. But, like I said, I know the tactic, their method. So you got to come at me a lot better. Because, uh, you know, you're going to get exposed in every way. So I'll take you guys to the next video. Get the white girl. Get the white girl. <laughs> look, 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 see? <laughs>